Hi, I'm Andrea Crawford. Welcome to the Wild Horse Wind Facility, and I'm going to take you on a virtual tour today. The Wild Horse Wind Facility consists of 149 Vestas V80 wind turbines spanning 10,880 acres. The turbines here can power between 60 and 70,000 homes on average. Our average wind speed here on site is 17 miles an hour, and our peak recorded gust was in 2007 at 117 miles an hour. Most of the time our wind comes out of the west and it funnels through Snoqualmie Pass from an area of higher pressure to lower pressure here in the Kittitas Valley. Wild Horse is one of the first wind and solar combination facilities in the United States. We have 315 panels in this array which powers the visitor center with 52 kilowatts of capacity. On top of the mountain we have a larger array with 2,408 panels and 450 kilowatts of capacity. Solar panels have changed a lot since we first installed these in 2007 and 2009. These are 165 watts. Modern panels are between 300 and 400 watts. The advantage to solar is there's very little maintenance. The only thing that needs to be done is bolts tightened occasionally and to make sure that they stay clean. We don't have to formally clean our panels though because the rain and the snow does the job for us. Solar panels like these are called photovoltaic. Photo means light and voltaic means electricity. So they're using the light from the sun to produce electricity. They don't use the heat though, so we need to make sure they stay cool to operate efficiently. Having them in a windy environment like Wild Horse works perfectly for this. When we get closer to the panels, you can see the silicon, which is the main ingredient to most solar panels. There's actually two different layers of silicon. One is positively charged and one is negatively charged. As the photons from the sun hit these panels, they excite the electrons within those layers and the electrons will bounce from one layer to the other. Once those electrons are collected by the conductors within the solar panels, they run to this building behind the array called the inverter. The inverter's job is to turn that electricity from DC to AC electricity that we can use within our building. Any additional electricity that we don't use runs on underground cables to join the electricity produced by the wind turbines and goes out to our customers.